Hey guys, even here and welcome to the Old School Labs YouTube channel. And in this video I wanted to go back to the Arnold Classic once again. Once again, probably won't make any more Arnold Classic videos unless something interesting comes up, comes up in my mind, I mean. But uh, right now I'm gonna I'm gonna focus on the bodybuilders who did very well, who showed up looking amazing, but still didn't place exactly the best. But still they did pretty good. I mean most of them actually deserved what they got. But even though they weren't good enough to get higher placing because the show was very competitive, I simply want to honor them by giving my two cents on their physiques, on their performance, and we're starting with uh, Sergio Oliva right here. I did analyze the second call out already, but not with these HD photos. Since the HD photos are out, we can do another analysis and this one will probably be more accurate. So, uh, here you can see Steve Google and Sergio Oliva and guys, I mean, if you take a look at this photo right here, you can go really either way. I mean, they both looked amazing. Uh, Steve had a little bit better proportions with arms, that's what I would say, and maybe better retaper because uh, Sergio has really uh, high lats and his waist doesn't really go, uh, doesn't really form that wee taper in this pose, particularly in this pose. But he definitely made a lot of progress since last year, since 2018, to be more precise. His arms grew, his legs grew, everything grew pretty much, and he looked <laughs> far, far better than before. But was it good enough to beat Steve Kuklo, who was sixth, just right after Rolly at the Mr. Olympia? You know, it could have went his way based on a couple of poses, but we're focusing on the front double bicep right now. And um, I would have to say that this one is very close. This one, maybe I would even have uh, Sergio actually edging him out. Yeah, yeah, because of the condition, he looks a little bit uh, more separated. Uh, maybe Steve Kuklo is pretty much on the same level as with conditioning. Maybe close, close, but when it comes to deep separation, Sergio is probably better. Um, also, Akeem Williams... He was probably the, the most conditioned shape that he has ever been. And uh, Cedric, Cedric doesn't look uh, as good as he used to. He's starting to fade away slowly. Uh, in the back uh, lat spread, actually back relaxed pose, uh, they moved Cedric on the side and they left, of course, Sergio and Steve to battle for that uh, fourth spot. And I think that was the way it was supposed to be based on all these photos. Yeah, yeah, it was supposed to be this way. So here in the back, relaxed pose, you can see that, again, it's very close. You can really go either way, but uh, Sergio does have more straighted glutes, which means that he came sharper. And those glutes are really squarish, look at that. I mean, th that forms a perfect square. <laughs> it's insane. So he came really conditioned. His hamstrings look uh, n sharper than, than Steve's, right? And his back could use some work, so Steve's back is a little bit thicker, and I think that's why he won this pose, and he won a higher placing at this show, but I think Sergio was still a little bit overlooked, because he's the newcomer, Steve has been fighting for his spots for a long time now, once again, it could have went either way, but I think Steve deserved it, although if the roles were reversed, if the Steve was the guy who was just coming up, who just made big improvements, I think they would give it to, to Sergio, because they kind of a little bit, they kind of overlooked Sergio, but still, he did great, I mean, considering that they had him 7th or 8th behind Akeem, but behind Cedric in the pre-judging, it was amazing that actually gave him that 5th spot uh, at the finals, because he absolutely deserved it, even though he looked probably better the pre-judging, but later on judges actually compared him to the other guys, and they realized, because they realized this guy is just big enough big as everybody else, and he has the stature, he has the symmetry, and he has the conditioning. He's one of the most conditioned guys at this show, which is something judges value really a lot. You can use the word conditioned, or you can use the word ready. Ready. That's basically how we say it in my language, in Serbian language, when somebody is ready for the stage, like, did you come prepared? You know, prepared, ready, something like that, we have a word for that. So that's how we call condition. Of course, there's a word for conditioned as well, but... It's like, did you get ready? And if you are conditioned, it means you're ready for the show. And if you are not ready, you're being penalized. And uh, things in IBB are a little bit different than in NPC or actually Elite Pro and um, Pro League. Pro League kind of looks more for that mass. And they, are, they can turn the blind eye to bubble guts, to gyno, uh, and ki that kind of stuff. That's not really tolerated in IBB uh, Elite Pro. 
But, of course, Elite Pro is much, much smaller federation than IBA Pro League, of course. Let's not even joke about it. Um, here in the front, lat spread, again, the details, the deep separation of Sergio's quads are just superior. Overall flow and overall symmetry and completeness would definitely go with uh, with Steve, but the separation in, in the, in the uh, midsection on Steve, non-existent. Pretty much the same thing with chest and with legs, pretty much. His condition, you can see that his skin is super thin, but he doesn't have the deep separation. In the side chest, you can see that uh, they are both very, very good. Definitely both very, very good. Cedric just faded away completely. Look at his glutes right here. They look fat. They don't look watery, just fat. It looks like Cedric doesn't even care at this point. He doesn't care. Akim, his legs, his uh, glutes really, really look thick and shredded. But Sergio really amazed me in this pose right here because uh, he really showed a lot of thickness. Yeah, yeah, it was very close between him and Steve in my opinion. But uh, yeah, it went to Steve and I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. I'm actually really happy for Sergio that he achieved the result. And I'm, <laughs> I was so happy to see him being so happy with, uh, with that placement because I know how it feels. In my first and only show, I took fourth place and um, I was beaten by some much younger guys than me. It was junior bodybuilding, but, you know, I was just so happy that I was on the bodybuilding stage. And you, you, if you saw me, I was smiling. I was so happy because I just, I just made it to the stage. And I can't imagine how Sergio feels to take fifth spot at the Arnold Classic at such a competitive lineup. Nobody can take that away from him ever. And in the back double bicep right here, they say Sergio needs to improve his back, but I don't know, man. Because let me tell you, his waist from behind looks really good. It looks really small. You cannot see his stomach, but you can see his erectors. And they are definitely very conditioned. And somehow it creates an insane illusion. Like, he, his uh, waist looks much smaller than his glutes. And that just looks crazy. Crazy. And that back looks also pretty good. His condition, which is the most important thing, when you want to show your back, you need to be very, you need to be very, very conditioned, right? Uh, Akim, he has that problem. He cannot really get that back dry, even though it's super muscular and yeah, his lats are high, but he has insane amount of muscle. He cannot really show the details because of that conditioning or the thick skin, as they call it, whatever that meant. Cedric came off, of course. Mm -hmm. He didn't even try for this show. And then you have Steve Kuklo, who beat Sergio in this pose. He didn't beat him. In this pose, Sergio basically beat him. Maybe Steve is a little bit thicker, but not more detailed, not more conditioned. Not through the glutes, not through the hamstrings, not through the lower back. Nowhere. Nowhere, really. Sergio was more conditioned. Maybe not thicker, but with that small waist, this pose just flows so well. And these guys actually took a step, I think... Um, I think they outangled him a little, so he looks smaller. But he didn't uh, look smaller in person, I'm sure. And he's not smaller, because this guy is very tall and he is huge. He was like 270 to 80 at this show. Uh, but yeah, he's a bit taller than, than some of them. And when he does this pose, he takes a big step forward. So he leans backwards or um, he bends his spine a little bit more to create better illusion. Something like Phil he does. And so he looks a little bit shorter, but he's not short by any means. He wins this pose, yeah, which is probably the most important pose. Back lat spread, another very good back pose for Sergio. Not great, not great. Akim looks better here. Probably Cedric as well. And uh, Steve and Sergio look the worst. But uh, you can take a look at uh, Sergio's glutes. And they're pretty, I mean, they're completely shredded, peeled. And uh, I think he looks better than uh, Steve in this pose as well. Yeah, both, ba both back shots won by Sergio. Side tricep is a really good pose for Steve. He can show his thickness. And he can show the width of his shoulders. And he is very wide. And overall muscularity. So he beats Sergio in this one, but not by a big margin. It's very close. In the absent eyes, Sergio wins again. So that's a quite a few shots that Sergio actually won against Steve. So you can see it was very, very close. It was very, very close between 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 these two guys. And this is basically, I think, what determined the, the, the outcome of this comparison. It's most muscular. Uh, Sergio looked amazing in the most muscular, but Steve just, I mean, this hands on hips pose looks absolutely stunning. He looks really good in that one. He shows a lot of mass, a lot of width to the shoulders, a lot of roundness that um, is really strange for a white man, right? I mean, these black dudes, they're all round, they're bubbly, they have all that bubbly muscle, and that doesn't happen very often with, 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 white, with white guys. 
you know, Dorian, Arnold, that's the Mr. Olympias that we know of. They don't, they didn't really have the bubbly muscle. Jay kind of had it, and Steve has it in these two shots. So, uh, hands on hips and the crab pose. The crab pose is probably his best pose. And here you can see, he just looks much, much thicker through the shoulders, through the upper chest. And I think basically this is the reason why he won this comparison. And his arms are, are also really good for a tall guy with, with longer arms. He looks really good in the, in the crab pose. Uh, uh, surprisingly good so i think he deserved this victory but it could have went either way and definitely huge props to sergio now max charles arguably one of the most conditioned guys at this show and in this most muscular shot right here he could have been compared to the top three and maybe even won the show if that was the only pose that was judged and i would have to say only upper body because i think that the legs are the reason why he didn't win they were a little bit too blurry and not symmetrical so you can see his quads he was conditioned you know don't get me wrong he was conditioned the middle shot really got him peeled to the bone basically i mean there was no fat no water he was dry he was conditioned but those, those legs don't really have the deep separation the deep cuts I think the development is not there. Maybe it could be the, the way he trains. He trains with really super short range of motion. Here you can see his legs. So not very good lad, legs. And also his stomach, he, his midsection kind of was... He, it was in check. It wasn't a, a bubble gut. But it was just kind of pushing forward too much. It was a bit bloated for some reason. Not water tension, nothing like that. Maybe just uh, Milos loaded him with a bunch of insulin and a lot of carbs maybe that's it maybe just a lot of food but uh, anyways he came like dry and and hard insanely hard uh, still i don't think he deserved more than than what he got the back looked pretty good but was it better than cedric's and akim's cedric came off but it's cedric man you cannot really beat him easily you need to knock him the hell away if you want to beat cedric even when he's off so you can see right here, not very good back, nothing is super impressive from the back. From the front, especially in that most muscular, it just looks like he's the Mr. Olympia. <laughs> but uh, from the back, it's a little bit different. Still, he was very, very conditioned. A bit more blurry through the glutes and hamstrings and lower back. But still, the best shape of Max Charles of all time. Props to Milos Sharp. I mean, Milos really did a great job with him. He really brought him in an amazing shape. And hopefully they will keep working together and actually bring something even better in the future. Side tricep looked pretty good, really good. You cannot really see that asymmetry with his quads from the sides and uh, his stomach looks on point, he is conditioned, detailed. Again, this most muscular, has at least the upper body, just insane. This one as well, crab, wow, the details in the chest and the abs and the shoulders, insane. Morgan Aced, Morgan Aced was the biggest guy on this stage, he was the tallest one. But what I found the most interesting was his glutes. This guy didn't come here by winning a pro show, nothing like that. He was invited because he's a freak. He turned pro, sure, he deserved that, but to be at the Arnold, the reason why he was there is uh, the, the fame around his name. He's not the biggest bodybuilders of all time. I'm not sure about his weight, but he was like 6 foot 5, and that's why his legs are not so thick, because it's pretty much impossible to get your legs to be around at that height but he did his homework he did his homework he really he really impressed me he got an opportunity to come to the Arnold Classic amongst the, the, the top in the world the best bodybuilders in the world is he that good no he is not that good but he is the freak he is a tall guy I'm really happy for him why because look I mean ever since he started bodybuilding I'm sure he had a lot of people telling him yeah, bro, you're you're huge, you're insanely big and everything, and you're conditioned and so on, but you are too tall to compete against the other guys who are like uh, six foot, six foot one tops. You cannot do that at six foot five, just give up, you know, do something else, right? I'm sure he heard that a lot, that kind of criticism. And look at him, he's at the Arnold Classic stage, battling against the other guys. What is the reason for it? It's attraction. I mean, he was a, he's an attractive bodybuilder because he's so huge, so tall. And what he did when he got this opportunity, he didn't waste it. He didn't show just to show. He knew he won to win this show. He knew that he may only beat a couple of guys if he's lucky, but he did his homework. He came, I think, in the best conditioning of this, day, of this show. I don't think anybody had this kind of glutes. This is anatomy chart. 
look at those glutes there is zero anything water or or fat or anything just dry dry muscle so did he deserve higher placement no no of course not no but but look at him look at him he really brought an amazing shape the rest of the body parts didn't look that good side tricep was a decent pose for sure but you can see a lot of disbalances a lot of uh, not proportional body parts so he looked amazing i mean i love this shape i hope to see him again on the Arnold classic improved but did he deserve better placement no he wasn't robbed or anything like that i mean look at his absent eyes i mean his ties just can't grow anymore and that's like the top the top limit probably because this guy is like super tall so that's gonna do it for this video guys if you enjoyed it please like it if you want to see more videos like this subscribe to this channel all the best guys and don't forget to keep it old school